shall we begin? episode here on uh, four of my uh, common man budget knives. They range from a small tactical to a gentleman's knife to a beefier tactical design to a standard beefier everyday use knife. The three knives are a Cricut, Crawford Casper, an M-Tech Tactical, an Enlon. I would refer to it as a gentleman's knife. And then we have a uh, Ganzo tactical knife. Uh, we'll start off with this little guy right here. This is the more expensive one. Runs about 20 bucks. This is the uh, Crawford Casper by Cricut. And uh, it's a modified drop point with a straight edge. Very sharp. It's made from a 8CR14 MOV stainless steel which is a uh, predominantly Chinese steel. I don't know if it's exclusive, but predominantly. So when you see the uh, 8CR14 MOV, it's a primary Chinese steel. So this is manufactured in China. And uh, it's got the Zytel handles. I'm not sure what kind of material that is. Probably a plastic, heavy duty. Um, you can see it's a rather large knife. I want to say it's about a 3 and 7 8 inch blade from the tip to the bottom here. Um, you can see it in my hand. It's a very beefy, heavy-duty knife for good, you know, heavy-duty tasks. I primarily use it for work. Um, but yeah, so it's got the modified drop point clip blade here. So it's good for piercing. It's got a strong point. Straight edge, so you don't have to worry about... Um, doesn't have the, They have a serrated edge version, but I prefer the straight edge. It holds an edge really well. I got it pretty sharp. It's got the uh, gold... I don't know if this is a um, powder coat or how this is put on there, but that protects it from rust. The um, the length of the handle is roughly about maybe five inches. You got a lanyard point here. It's got a black spine, and you can see the 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 liner here is this black metal. It's got a little bit of jimping for a little bit more control, and then you've got a little locking mechanism. When you push it forward, it locks it. This is a liner lock design so it locks it in place. You've got a screw point here if you want to loosen it up but I have it pretty tight. It's ambidextrous so you can open it with your left or right hand and uh, it's part you know you, it's got a one-sided clip you can't reverse that but uh, it's a pretty heavy-duty clip. So for 20 bucks this is a pretty pretty nice knife and if you want to close it make sure you pull this back and then it locks into place. So this one is by uh, um, Cricut, designed by uh, uh, Crawford Casper, I believe, is a knife designer. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice little knife. It doesn't have a pommel. I mean, you could probably use it, but it's not really designed as a pommel. And you can see it's pretty straight, given that it's a liner lock. Sometimes it pushes it off, just the spring pushes it off center a little bit, but so that's the um, <clears throat> Cricut design, and uh, for twenty bucks. So this is a great common, common man purchase. Not too expensive, good quality steel, and uh, good for everyday tasks. So yeah, I like this one a lot. I use this one quite a bit. It was a gift from my brother. <clears throat> but yeah, very very nice. Now the next knife is um, a little uncommon for an everyday carry but if you like pocket knives and you want something a bit unique with a little bit of a tactical pizzazz to it M-Tech makes uh, from their series the, uh, of knives. If you've ever heard of M-Tech they're, they're a low budget Chinese manufacturer um, well actually M-Tech doesn't make knives period what they do is they buy blanks like these and put their 
their logo on it. There's another one company called uh, Unlimited Wares that makes the same exact knife, just their logo laser etched in there. So, but it's a Chinese manufacturer, so it's Chinese steel. Um, I'm not sure what the steel is. I guess you can call it a mystery steel, but it's probably the uh, 8CR. 14 MOB stainless steel, which is typical of Chinese steel. But yeah, so this is what it looks like closed inside of my hand. It's pretty beefy. It's a flip assist, so you got a little finger assist pull, and uh, pretty much opens up just like that, so that's very cool. This one features a tanto point, which is commonly used in tactical knives. It's a, considered a very strong piercing point. So it's not a very, it's not easy to break. Um, so that's that, that's the Tanto design there. Um, I believe this is a flat grind. It feels like a flat grind, or it could be a hollow grind. It actually feels more like a hollow grind. Then you've got your secondary bezel, uh, bevel cut right here, which is pretty sharp out of the box. You've got a hook point here for draw cuts. Maybe you could use this as a skinning tool but uh, this is a slightly curved blade. Most Tanto designs are flat, but this has got a slight curve. Then you got a flatter edge here. Um, you do have a finger guard here. It does have some good, pretty aggressive jimping here. Or you can choke up on it, get some jimping on the back spine. This is probably about an eighth of an inch thick. It's got these little notches here. I don't know what exactly you'd use them for, but you know maybe you can use those to catch your pot if it's over hanging over a campfire. You can catch the wire and pull it off the campfire. Maybe you can notch some wood with it. I think this has a tactical purpose for barbed wire. Or put the barbed wire in there, and you can twist it and break it. Um, I think that's what it might be for. But if you know what these notches are here, you can leave a comment in the box below, maybe. But there's your M Tech logo there. Like I said, there's another company called Unlimited Wares that makes it as well. Um, this one runs about 20, 18 bucks plus shipping. So it's another common man purchase. It's got the um, G10 handles, which is, this is about 5 inches. You've got some jimping in the back here. So if you want to hold it in the stabbing position, you've got control there with the jimping. Um, they say it's a seatbelt cutter, and I think the way that might work is um, you could put the seatbelt through there and you can see the little tip there and it's supposed to to cut it but I haven't tried that but that's what it's supposed to be for. It's ambidextrous so you can have right or left hand opening. You got a single style, single point with the clip. You can't reverse that. It's got good strong hinges. It's a pretty stiff knife to open. It doesn't flip open but you know it's 20 bucks but it's got that cool factor so if you like to show off your knives to your buddies at work and whatnot this will do it. So this is the M-Tech. It's a good little overall knife. Fits really good in the hand. So it's a good tactical knife or an everyday use knife. It's a very heavy duty knife. I mean it'll slice through cardboard like nobody's business. Um, or maybe cutting some wood or if you want to carve or something like that. And you got that little draw blade there if you want to, you know, for skinning. But for a tactical, you know, it creates a deeper cut. But Anyway, so that's that one there from M-Tech. And uh, like I said, 20 bucks. So, very nice knife. Now the next knife is one of my everyday carries. Um, this is another extremely budget friendly knife I got off of GearBest.com. This is the Enlon series. I don't know the exact model number, but I'll put it in the description box. Again, this one's ambidextrous, so you've got thumb studs on both sides. It's only got a single point down carry. So when it's in your pocket, the point's going to be down, um, which is pretty common design. But you got that. It's got some beautiful wood handles. I'm not sure what the wood is, but it's really nice. You do have a lanyard if you prefer to put. I I don't know people that put lanyards in a pocket knife, but if it's down in there, I don't know what you have the purpose of a lanyard. But this I would prefer this as a gentleman's knife because it's not really designed for a heavy duty task, but you know just to keep on your persons, you know. If you're out and about in a casual night, just something to keep with you. It's got the beautiful wood finish. Um, opening it up, beautiful, beautiful steel. This is probably the 8CR13MOV again. 
um, it's a full flat grind with your uh, secondary grind at the bottom there flat grind as well um, it's got a pretty thick spine that tapers into a very fine point so it's good for piercing being that it's a fully flat grind this is a good slicer you know maybe cutting up vegetables meat and whatnot skinning you can do it as well but cutting up you know boxes and whatnot very easy to sharpen with a good strop if you know what you're doing um, this is about a three inch blade with about a four inch handle so it's pretty small it's a liner lock not a flip assist so you, you can see the uh, <clears throat> let me get this to focus there it's slightly off center but that's just because the spring pushes it off which is typical for um, liner lock knives but opens up very smooth it's got a good positive lock not much play in it there's a little bit of play but not much could just be rectified by uh, rectified by screwing it a little bit tighter there <clears throat> but it's got a beautiful finish it's got a slight draw point to it is the design so it comes into a very very sharp and that's a very very sharp point so I can get that to focus very sharp point beautiful knife I use this quite often <clears throat> but this one was only eleven dollars with shipping now don't be in a hurry to get this knife because it takes about three weeks to have this shipped from China that's why the shipping is free and such a budget low-cost knife you can probably get this on Amazon if you pay shipping and get it in a couple days because there's some um, US based vendors but if you're patient and you want to save about five bucks on shipping and get this bad boy for I want to say nine bucks yeah I think I paid nine bucks shipped for this beautiful little knife all stainless steel beautiful wood finish but yeah that's the Enlon series there and the, the description will have the model number and the link to it but check that out very very nice yeah I like this one a lot nine bucks very common man purchase good budget knife hasn't failed me yet I use it quite often all right so we're going to move on to the fourth and final knife of this uh, short little video of uh, the four EDC everyday carry budget knives for under 20 bucks um, this is another this this knife here is by a company called Ganzo based out of China from gearbest.com this is a very hard knife to come by um, I waited about three weeks searching for one to come in stock and then when it finally did I had to wait another three weeks just to have it shipped because it comes from China and uh, let me open this guy up and you'll see why I was in such excitement when it came in look at that this is a Tanto design tactical flat edge here another flat edge here this is great for tactical purposes piercing um, you really couldn't carve with this just because of the flat edge. I mean, you can make it work. I use it for work primarily. I don't use anything heavy duty on it just because I like the knife. I don't want to beat it up. It comes with the G10 um, handles, scales on here, mirrored on both sides. You got a pretty heavy duty pocket clip, and this is point up carry. So when it's in your pocket, the point's going to be up versus this one where the points down I don't know if that's a preference or not but just keep in mind that's going to be how it comes um, you can see it's an open spine so you can see through it you can see it's pretty straight it does go off just a little bit center but like I said before that's typical of liner locks the spring pushes it over it's ambidextrous so you can use right or left hand open it does have a little bit of jimping here so you can kind of get a good purchase on it the G10 is very good in the hands. It's very tacky, sticky material. So if it gets wet, it won't be too slippery on you. The uh, the lock here is a pretty good lock. You can see it really locks up on it. That's not going to go nowhere. And then you just push it over and it drops in. So it's got a good positive lock. There's no play in the hinge. So it's really well built. And uh, that's really about it. I don't know what the steel is. It's again, it's probably the 8CR 14 MOV, 13 MOV, whatever that number was. So it's a pretty good common, good quality steel. I mean, the hardness on that particular steel, I think, is between 50 55 on the Rockwell hardness scale. But uh, it takes an edge really well. Um, it's very sharp. Like all these knives, they're very sharp. You know, like this one here I showed previously is very sharp. 
So if you're a serial killer and you like to shave all the body hair off your arm, you'll like that. All these knives come very sharp. So, very nice. Anyway, so this is by Ganzo. I paid $11, including the shipping. But I, keep in mind, I had to wait up to three weeks before it finally came in because it comes from China. But if you're looking for a good quality knife, it looks beautiful, nice fit and finish, good quality with an aggressive tip. I mean, this sucker is razor sharp. Get that focus right there. Look at that. This is a hollow grind with a, a secondary grind there for your edge. So it holds an edge really well. Slight drop point there into the tanto. Very nice. Get yourself one of these. If any of these knives, get this one. This one's a great knife. When you open it up, people go, whoa, what is that? Everybody at work's like, whoa. Very, very nice. By Ganzo. I think the model number is on here. Let's see if I can get that to focus there. Does it say it? Yeah, it's, a, it's G714. It's a model number. So, that's it for this series. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. This is the Texan Camper. Till we meet again.